Uh, we've just seen Mr Bickley, who is the parliamentary candidate for UKIP, and Mr Bickley has some very important questions to answer. What are you going to do with the city? Could you not spare us just a few minutes? Would you, could you? What about the money? Could you talk to us about the money? Where's the money gone? Where's the money gone, Mr. Bickley? Where's the money gone, Mr. Bickley? Mr. Bickley, where's the money gone? Where's the money gone? What's happened to the hundred thousand pounds? Can I? Can you ask him about the hundred thousand pounds? Before we go, what about the Muslim terrorists? Before we go, excuse me. What about what about the Muslim terrorists? Excuse me. That is your public spokesman. Can I walk down this public? He kidnapped somebody, didn't he? Excuse me. Are you why don't you answer the difficult questions? He kidnapped somebody. Running away again is not the answer. I feel as I'm being intimidated. Well, you. Oh, you feel intimidated? Do you feel intimidated, Mr. Bickley, because somebody is asking you a difficult question? Is that how you feel intimidated? Do you feel intimidated? Do you feel intimidated, Mr. Bickley? Mr. Bickley is running away again, running away from the difficult questions. Mr. Bickley clearly is unwilling to answer the difficult questions, the questions everybody wants to know the answers to. And those are questions like what happened to the £100,000 that he took from the European Union that has disappeared. Other questions are, is why will they not answer questions about the Muslim spokesman for their party who has a terrorist record? Now I'm joined here by Mr by Clive and he knows about this problem. Could, could you perhaps answer for Mr Bickley? I can answer for Mr Bickley. As you've seen there, the, the answers are very simple. Simple questions. Where's the hundred grand from Europe? Bickley's got it. He was given it <laughs> by his pals from Europe and he's walking around this shopping centre telling everybody he's anti-European. But his company, multi-million dollar company, is taken hundred grand backhanders from Europe and he's walking around and telling these people lies right the terrorist somebody just give me a leaflet there Farage and Bickley have visit, been visiting mosques with Muslim terrorists who kidnap people threaten to behead them and that's their public foreign affairs spokesman now this only came out last week and what I'd like to say to our vote, the viewers on there, and maybe other people that are watching this, yeah, we've given John Bickley a bit of a rough ride there. That's politics. It's a bit of rough and tumble. They should have to stand up for themselves. People are saying, oh, you're mobbing UKIP and you're having a bit of... Yeah, we are mobbing UKIP because we want answers off UKIP. They won't give them to the public. We're after the answers. You want the truth, you come to us. Many people are saying that... UKIP and other politicians need mobbing. They need to be they held to, to be account because yeah. the, the, the media in this country is not doing that job. The Do you think yes. that is a role for the BNP in the future? I think you're absolutely right, Tony. BBC, they'll give him a, they'll give him a nice cup of tea and, and, let, and say, oh, what's your policies, Mr Bickley? They won't put the questions that you've just tried to put to him. They won't ask Farage about telling all the women they were useless. They won't talk to them about their immig immigration policy. Which is, which is a nonsense. They won't talk to them about the real issues. Ask them if they'll ban the burqa. They won't tell you, because they can't stand up for these issues. So people like yourself, me, the BMP lads here, yeah, we're taking it to UKIP, because the BBC won't. So yeah, there's, a, there's absolutely a role for BMP TV to get on the streets, to put a bit of pressure on these people, Simple questions, simple answers, and I can't do it. Well, thank you very much for talking to us, Mr Jefferson.